Women in the Quran and Women Women in the Quran and Women in the Bible The believers, men and women, are helpers to one another, because of the faith that unites them. They command good, which is everything loved by Allah, represented by the various forms of obedience, such as accepting His oneness and the ritual prayer, and they prohibit evil, which is everything hated by Allah, and includes sins such as disbelief and dealing in usury and financial transactions. They perform the ritual prayer in a complete manner, and they obey Allah and His Messenger. People with these praiseworthy qualities will receive Allah's mercy. Allah is mighty and nothing can overcome Him. He is wise in His creating, handling of matters and establishment of laws. Al-Quran Surah at Taba 9 hours 71 minutes And they, women, have rights similar to those of men over them in a just manner. Al-Quran 2 228 Divorced women must not remarry after a divorce for three menstrual periods. If they are true in their faith in Allah in the last day, they may not hide the fetus that Allah has created in their wombs. Their husbands, who issue the divorce, have the first right to recall them during the waiting period if their intention is to live well with them and to cancel what has occurred because of the divorce. Wives have rights and obligations like those of husbands in a manner that people consider fair. Men have a higher rank than them in terms of responsibility and with respect to divorce. Allah is mighty and nothing can overcome His decree. He is wise in His legislation and planning. Surah Al-Baqarah, 228 Whoever does a bad action, he will never be rewarded except with the like of what he did, without punishment being added to it. And whoever does a good action seeking Allah's pleasure through it, whether the doer is male or female, provided he is a believer in Allah and His messengers, will enter paradise on the Day of Judgment. Allah will grant them provision, through what He has placed in it of fruits and the everlasting pleasure which will never end, without account. Al-Quran Surah Gaffer 40 40 Bible, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. 1 Timothy 2 verses 11-14 Bible says, Let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also set the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 34 Bible says, Wives, be subject to your own husbands, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the church, he himself being the Savior of the body. But as the church is subject to Christ, so also the wives ought to be to their husbands in everything. Ephesians 5 verses 22-24 From also from among the great signs of Allah which prove His power and oneness, is that He created for you, O men, wives from among your species so that you may find contentment in them due to your special compatibility, and He put love and affection between you. Indeed, in the aforementioned are clear proofs and evidences for people who contemplate, because they are the ones who benefit by using their intellect. Al-Quran Surah Arum 30 colon 21 The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The best believers are the best in conduct, and the best of you are those who are best to their wives. Tirmidhi narrated by Abu Huraira Bible, a bad wife brings humiliation, downcast looks, and a wounded heart. Slack of hand and weak of knee is the man whose wife fails to make him happy. Woman is the origin of sin, and it is through her that we all die. Do not leave a leaky system to drip or allow a bad wife to say what she likes. If she does not accept your control, divorce her and send her away. Ecclesiasticus 25 colon 25 But consort with them in kindness, for if you hate them it may happen that you hate a thing wherein Allah has placed much good. al Quran 419 O you who have faith in Allah and follow His Messenger, you are not allowed to inherit the wives of your fathers in the way wealth is inherited or marry them, or give them in marriage. Or stop them from marrying. Also, it is forbidden for you to retain your wives who you do not like in order to get them to give back some of what you gave to them, unless they have had illegal sexual relations. In that case, you can get them to return what you gave them. Be good companions to your women, not hurting them, and be kind to them. If you do not like them for some worldly reason, then be patient with them. Allah may put much good in what you do not like, both in the life of this world and in the afterlife. Surah Nisa 19 Bible, if a father-husband does not endorse his daughter's wife's vows, all pledges made by her become null and void. 
In other words a woman cannot make any contract on her own without the permission of a husband or father. But if her father forbids her when he hears about it. None of her vows or the pledges by which she obligated herself will stand. Her husband may confirm or nullify any vow she makes or any sworn pledge to deny herself. Numbers 30.2-15 In Islam a woman's wealth is her own and her husband has no rights over it. And covet not the thing in which Allah has made some of you excel others. Unto men a fortune from that which they have earned, and unto women a fortune from that which they have earned. Envy not one another, but ask Allah of his bounty. Verily, Allah is knower of all things. Al Quran 432. O believers, do not wish for what Allah favors some of you over others with, so that this does not lead to resentment and envy. Women should not wish for what Allah has given to men in particular. For men is a share from what they do, and for women is a share from what they do, neither of them is rewarded except through what they earn. Ask Allah to answer your prayers out of His favor to you. Allah knows all things. In His wisdom, He gives and withholds. For every one of you I have made relations to inherit from what parents and relatives leave in their inheritance. And for those who you have made a promise of allegiance with as an ally and helper, give them their share of the inheritance. I am a witness to everything, and I witness your oaths and promises. The ally inheriting was a ruling at the beginning of Islam, but this ruling was later replaced. Men are responsible for women, protecting and taking care of them, because of the bounty he has given men over them, and because of their duty to maintain and take care of them. Righteous women are devoted to their Lord, and devoted to their husbands, protecting things for them in their absence through Allah's help. The women who you fear would not show devotion to their husbands in what they say or do, first remind them of how they should act according to the sacred laws. If they do not change their ways, then leave them alone in bed, turning your back to them and not having sexual relations. And if they still do not change their ways, then strike them without any ferocity. If they become loyal again, then do not do anything against them, not wronging them nor blaming them. Allah is high in His essence, great in His attributes, so be mindful of Him. If you fear that a disagreement between the two of them is leading to aggression and incompatibility, then send a just man from the family of the husband. And a just man from the family of the wife to judge what the benefits of them separating or staying together might be. Staying together is preferable and better. If the two judges want this, using the best methods to get them back together, then Allah will make them come to an understanding, and the argument between them will be resolved. Allah is knowing. Nothing about his creatures is hidden from him, and he is aware of what they hide in their hearts. Worship Allah alone faithfully and do not worship next to him anything else. Be good to your parents, honoring them and treating them with respect, and be good to relatives, orphans, and the poor. Be good to the neighbor who is a relative and the neighbor who is not a relative, the friend you spend time with, the traveler who is a stranger and has no means whereby to complete his journey. And to slaves. Allah does not like those who think too much of themselves and are arrogant with people and praise themselves as a way of boasting. Surah Nisa 32-36 Bible says, a virgin who is raped must marry her rapist, if they are found. Dut 22-28-29 if a man happens to meet a virgin who is not pledged to be married and rapes her and they are discovered, he shall pay the girl's father fifty shekels of silver. He must marry the girl, for he has violated her. He can never divorce her as long as he lives. Deuteronomy 22 verses 28 to 30. And those who launch a charge against chaste women and produce not four witnesses to support their allegations flog them with eighty stripes and reject their evidence ever after, for such men are wicked transgressors. Al Quran 24 A fornicating man does not incline to marry except a fornicating woman like himself or an idolater who does not stay away from fornication. A fornicating woman does not incline to marry except a fornicating man like herself or an idolater who does not stay away from it. And marrying a fornicating male and female has been forbidden for believers. Those who accuse chaste women of adultery, and chaste men likewise, and do not then bring four witnesses to testify to the adultery they have accused them of, flog them, O leaders, with eighty lashes, and never accept their testimony. Those who accuse chaste women are out of the obedience of Allah. Accept those who repent to Allah after what they have done and correct their actions, for Allah will accept their repentance and their testimony. Allah is forgiving to those of His servants who repent and is merciful to them.
and those men who accuse their wives but do not have witnesses to testify to the authenticity of what they have accused them of besides themselves, one amongst them will testify by Allah four times. That he is truthful in the accusation of adultery he has made against his wife. Then on his fifth testimony, he will add that he is deserving of curse if he is lying in what he has accused her of. Through this she will be deserving of the fixed punishment for adultery. She will repel this fixed punishment by testifying by Allah four times, that he is lying in what he has accused her of. Then on her fifth testimony, she will add that the anger of Allah be on her if he is truthful in what he has accused her of. Had it not been for Allah's grace on you, O people, and his mercy on you, and that he accepts those who repent amongst his servants and is wise in his managing and legislating, he would have quickly punished you for your sins disgraced you through them. Surah Nur 3-10 the Bible blames Eve for the original sin, Genesis 3 verses 12 to 16. And the man, Adam, said, The woman, Eve, whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception, in sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. In the Quran, both Adam and Eve share the blame for eating from the tree. This can be seen in the Quran in such verses Al-Baqarah 236, Al-Iraf 7,22-24. Satan did not stop whispering to them, trying to trick them, until he made them slip and fall by eating from the tree which Allah had told them not to. For this Allah sent them out of the garden, telling them and Satan to go down to the earth, some of them enemies to others, where they would stay and live. Enjoying the good things there until their lifespan, and until the final hour arrived. Adam received the words given to him by Allah, and was inspired to ask for forgiveness with them. These words of forgiveness are mentioned in Surah Al-Iraf, 23, they said, Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. If you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we will certainly be of the losers. Allah accepted Adam's turning to him and forgave him, for he is always forgiving and merciful towards his creation. Surah Al-Baqarah 36-37 Satan swore to the two of them saying, By Allah I am to you both, O Adam and Eve, a sincere advisor in what I direct you to. So Satan brought them down from their high position through trickery and deception. When they ate from the tree which they had been forbidden to eat from, their private parts became exposed and visible to them. So they started to fix leaves from paradise onto themselves in order to cover up. Their Lord called to them, Did I not forbid you both from eating from this tree? and did I not warn you that Satan is your clear enemy? Adam and Eve said, O our Lord, we have wronged ourselves by doing what you forbade us from, and surely if you do not forgive us and have mercy on us we will be amongst the losers, losing our share of the worldly life and hereafter. Allah told Adam, Eve, and Satan, Go down from paradise to the earth, where some of you will be enemies of others, and where you would have a place to settle with enjoyment of what is in the earth until an appointed time. Allah addressed Adam and Eve and their descendants, On this earth you will live for the length of time I decree for you, and on this earth you will die. After being buried, you will be taken out from your graves and brought back to life. O children of Adam, Allah made for you clothing, necessary for covering your nakedness, and clothing for you to adorn yourselves with, and the clothing of mindfulness, which is through following what Allah instructs and staying away from what He has not allowed, which is better than the physical types of clothing. What is mentioned here about clothing is from among the signs of Allah, showing His power over everything, so that perhaps people will remember His blessings to them and be thankful for them. Al-Iraf 7,21-26 They were also both forgiven by God Almighty for this sin. Then Allah told Adam, O oh Adam go and dwell you and your wife Eve in the paradise, and eat from the good things in it, but do not approach and eat from that tree. For if you both eat from that tree after my prohibiting it you would be of those who transgress my limits. Satan told them, Allah has only forbidden you from eating from that tree because he does not want you to become angels or to live eternally in paradise. Satan swore to the two of them saying, By Allah I am to you both, O Adam and Eve, a sincere advisor in what I direct you to. So Satan brought them down from their high position through trickery and deception. When they ate from the tree which they had been forbidden to eat from, their private parts became exposed and visible to them. So they started to fix leaves from paradise onto themselves in order to cover up. Their Lord called to them, Did I not forbid you both from eating from this tree, and did I not warn you that Satan is your clear enemy? Adam and Eve said, O our Lord, we have wronged ourselves by doing what you forbade us from, and surely if you do not forgive us and have mercy on us we will be amongst the losers, losing our share of the worldly life and hereafter.
Alcuran 7 colon 19-23. The Bible says that giving birth to a female child makes a woman more unclean than if she had a male child. Leviticus 12 verses 2-5 speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a woman have conceived seed, and born a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity shall she be unclean. And in the eighth day the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying thirty-three days, she shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she bear a female child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying sixty-six days. Ecclesiastics 7 colon 26-28 And I find more bitter than death the woman who is a snare, whose heart is a trap and whose hands are chains. The man who pleases God will escape her, but the sinner she will ensnare. While I was still searching but not finding. I found one upright man among a thousand but not one upright woman among them all. And their Lord has heard them, and he says verily. I suffer not the work of any worker, male or female, to be lost. You proceed one from another. Alcoran 3 195. So their Lord responded to their prayer, saying that He does not allow the reward of anything you do, small or big, to be lost, whether the person who does it is male or female. You are from one another in your origins, and the faith that you follow does not reward males and females differently. Those who emigrated for the sake of Allah, driven from their homes by the disbelievers, suffered harm in order to obey their Lord and who fought for the sake of Allah and died so that the word of Allah would be supreme, they will certainly be forgiven their sins on the day of judgment. It will be overlooked, and they will be entered into gardens with rivers flowing under their palaces, as a reward from Allah, with Allah is the best reward, unlike any other. O Prophet, do not feel burdened nor distressed by the movement of the disbelievers in the land, and their power and the extent of their trade and provision. All of this is passing, and all that they will have left is their bad deeds. Ali Imran 195-196 And whoso does good works, whether of male or female, and he, or she, is a believer, such will enter paradise and they will not be wrong the dint in a date stone. al 4 124 Any person, whether male or female, who does good actions and has true faith in Allah will enter paradise, because they combined faith with practice. The reward of their actions will not be reduced in the least, not even to the extent of a speck on a date stone. No one is better in religion than the one who surrenders to Allah outwardly and inwardly, does good actions and follows the religion of Abraham, which forms the basis of the religion of Muhammad, peace be upon him inclining away from idolatry and disbelief to monotheism and faith. Allah chose his prophet Abraham as a close friend from amongst all of his creation. Anissa 124-125 Whosoever does right, whether male or female, and is a believer, him verily we shall quicken with good life and we shall pay them a recompense in proportion to the best of what they used to do. al 16 hours 97 minutes. The wealth, pleasures and luxuries that you have O people will come to an end no matter how much it may be, but the reward that is with Allah will remain. How then do you give preference to that which is perishable over that which is lasting? We will certainly reward those who remain steadfast on their oaths and who do not break them according to the best of their good deeds by multiplying its reward by ten times up to seven hundred times. Or even more. Whoever does good deeds in accordance with the sacred law, whether male or female, while having faith in Allah, we will grant them in this world a good life. By their being pleased with Allah's decree, content and guided towards righteous actions. And we will reward them in the afterlife in accordance with the best good deeds that they used to do in the world. Anal 96-97 A man asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Whom should I honor most? The Prophet replied, Your mother. And who comes next? asked the man. The Prophet replied, Your mother. And who comes next? Asked the man. The Prophet replied, Your mother. And who comes next? Asked the man. The Prophet replied, Your father. Bukhari and Muslim. Bible says that a woman must cover her head as a sign of man's authority over her. And every woman who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, it is just as though her head were shaved. If a woman does not cover her head, she should have her hair cut off, and if it is a disgrace for a woman to have her hair cut off or shaved off, she should cover her head.
A man ought not to cover his head, since he is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of man. For man did not come from woman, but woman from man, neither was man created for woman, but woman for man. For this reason, and because of the angels, the woman ought to have a sign of authority on her head, 1 Corinthians 11 verses 3-10. Bible, 1 Corinthians 11 verses 5-10, But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. Bible, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 13, Judge in yourselves, is it comely that a woman pray unto God, with her head, uncovered? The Quran teaches that a woman must be covered out of modesty and to protect her from harassment. Say to the believing men that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty. And say to the believing women that they should lower their gaze and guard their modesty. That they should not display their beauty and ornaments except what ordinarily appear thereof, that they should draw their veils over their bosoms. al 24 30-31 O Messenger, tell the believing men to stop their eyes from looking at women and private parts that are unlawful for them. And to protect their private parts from indulging in the unlawful and from exposing them. That refraining from looking at what Allah has made unlawful is purer for them in the sight of Allah. Allah is aware of what you do. And tell the believing women to stop their eyes from looking at the private parts Allah has made unlawful for them to look at and to protect their private parts by staying far from indecency and by covering themselves. And they should not display their beauty to strangers except that which is apparent thereof and which cannot be hidden, such as clothing. They should draw their coverings over the openings at the top of their clothes, to cover their hair, faces and necks, and they should not expose their hidden beauty except to their husbands, or their fathers, or their husbands' fathers, or their sons, or their husbands' sons, or their brothers, or their brothers' sons, or their sisters' sons, or their women who are believers, be they Muslim or disbelievers, or the servants they own, be they male or female, or male attendants who have no desire for women or children who have not become aware of the private aspects of women due to their being small. And women should not strike their feet with the intention of making known the adornment they are hiding, such as anklets and so forth. And all of you repent to Allah, O believers, for the gaze and so forth which affects you, in the hope that you are successful in attaining the goal and are saved from what is feared. Surah Nur 30-31 O Prophet, tell your wives and daughters and the believing women that they should cast their outer garments over their bodies, when abroad, so that they should be known and not molested. al 33 59 O Prophet, say to your wives and your daughters, and the wives of the believers, Let your outer garments you are hang loosely over you so that your bodies are not revealed to unrelated men. That is more likely to distinguish them as free women so that they are not subject to harassment like the servant girls are and Allah forgiving of the sins of whichever of his servants repents, and he is merciful to them. al 59 According to the Bible, Numbers 27 1-11, widows and sisters don't inherit at all. Daughters can inherit only if their deceased father had no sons. Unto the men, of a family, belongs a share of that which parents and near kindred leave, and unto the women a share of that which parents and near kindred leave, whether it be little or much. A legal share. al 4 7 Men are to have a share of what their parents or relatives, such as brothers and sisters or uncles and aunts, leave when they die, whether it is much or little. Women are also to have a share of what they leave, which was not the way that things were in the time of ignorance before Islam, when women and children were left out of the inheritance. This share is a right and its amount is clearly set out, as made obligatory by Allah. Surah Nisa, 7 Bible, Leviticus 15 verses 19 to 30 And if a woman have an issue, her period menses, and, her issue in her flesh be blood, she shall be put apart seven days. And whosoever toucheth her shall be unclean until the even. And everything that she leath upon in her separation shall be unclean, everything also that she sitteth upon shall be unclean. And whosoever toucheth her bed shall wash his clothes, and bathe, himself, in water, and be unclean until the even. And whosoever toucheth anything that she sat upon shall wash his clothes, and bathe, himself, in water, and be unclean until the even. And if it, be, on, her, bed, or on anything whereon she sitteth, when he toucheth it, he shall be unclean until the even. It goes on and on, that and continue in the blood of her purifying thirty-three days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary, until the days of her purifying be fulfilled. But if she bear a female child, then she shall be unclean two weeks, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying sixty-six days. 
Ecclesiastics 7 28 And I find more bitter than death the woman who is a snare, whose heart is a trap and whose hands are chains. The man who pleases God will escape her, but the sinner she will ensnare. While I was still searching but not finding. I found one upright man among a thousand but not one upright woman among them all. And their Lord has heard them, and he says verily. I suffer not the work of any worker, male or female, to be lost. You proceed one from another. Alcoran 3 195. So their Lord responded to their prayer, saying that he does not allow the reward of anything you do, small or big, to be lost, whether the person who does it is male or female. You are from one another in your origins, and the faith that you follow does not reward males and females differently. Those who emigrated for the sake of Allah, driven from their homes by the disbelievers, suffered harm in order to obey their Lord. And who fought for the sake of Allah and died so that the word of Allah would be supreme, they will certainly be forgiven their sins on the day of judgment. It will be overlooked, and they will be entered into gardens with rivers flowing under their palaces, as a reward from Allah, with Allah is the best reward, unlike any other. O Prophet, do not feel burdened nor distressed by the movement of the disbelievers in the land, and their power and the extent of their trade and provision. All of this is passing, and all that they will have left is their bad deeds. Ali Imran 195-196 And whoso does good works, whether of male or female, and he, or she, is a believer, such will enter paradise and they will not be wrong the dint in a date stone. al 4 124 any person, whether male or female, who does good actions and has true faith in Allah will enter paradise, because they combine faith with practice. The reward of their actions will not be reduced in the least, not even to the extent of a speck on a date stone. No one is better in religion than the one who surrenders to Allah outwardly and inwardly, does good actions and follows the religion of Abraham. Which forms the basis of the religion of Muhammad, peace be upon him inclining away from idolatry and disbelief to monotheism and faith. Allah chose his prophet Abraham as a close friend from amongst all of his creation. Anissa 124-125 Whosoever does right, whether male or female, and is a believer, him verily we shall quicken with good life. And we shall pay them a recompense in proportion to the best of what they used to do. al 16 hours 97 minutes The wealth, pleasures and luxuries that you have O people will come to an end no matter how much it may be, but the reward that is with Allah will remain. How then do you give preference to that which is perishable over that which is lasting? We will certainly reward those who remain steadfast on their oaths and who do not break them according to the best of their good deeds by multiplying its reward by ten times up to seven hundred times. Whoever does Whoever does good deeds and or even more Whoever does good deeds in accordance with the sacred law, whether male or female, while having faith in Allah, we will grant them in this world a good life. By their being pleased with Allah's decree, content and guided towards righteous actions. And we will reward them in the afterlife in accordance with the best good deeds that they used to do in the world. Anal 96-97 A man asked the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Whom should I honor most? The Prophet replied, Your mother. And who comes next? asked the man. The prophet replied, Your mother. And who comes next? asked the man. The prophet replied, Your mother. And who comes next? asked the man. The prophet replied, Your father. Bukhari and Muslim. Bible says that a woman must cover her head as a sign of man's authority over her.